Yo, so what up, YouTube? Uh, I just got another uh, added upgrade to the CRL 450, man. It just came into the mail, and I just picked it up, man. So I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, show y'all a little bit of what it is. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Like I told y'all, man, I had upgrades coming along the way, and I was going to keep y'all posted and updated on all of them. But, man, I'm I'm really blown away with this one. And I haven't even had a chance to open the box yet. So I'm really excited about it all the way around the board. But without further ado, check out my my brand new yoshimir dual exhaust it's the stainless steel system just got it in the mail so i'm gonna do a quick uh, unboxing for you guys oh uh, so here's our i don't even know what this is and i really don't know head pipe my uh, head pipe and we have here's the other piece of our Look kind of confusing in a sense, but I guess it ain't too much, man. It should be pretty easy to put together. Uh, then we have both uh, instruction manual. Then we still have our stickers, so, you know, it's good to have that too. Um, then we have both our silences. Let me see if I can get these out. The stainless steel, man, the difference between the stainless the stainless and the uh, the, uh, the, tie, the tie system, the titanium is like a four five hundred dollar difference, but it's just simply in weight. That's the only noticeable difference. And from what they were telling me before they sold me the system is the stainless is more so reliable and which more durable than the, the titanium system, and they're more, more so known for breaking. That's why a lot of people, they, they mostly recommend the uh, stainless system. This is the silence. Yeah, we got a little weight to it. Not too bad though, man. This is the Yoshimura dual exhaust. So right now, man, I'm headed over to get the uh, the bike, and I'm going to install it for you guys and see how it looks. I'm really excited. About it. Fairly easy fix, man. Very easy to install, man. Right now we got the uh, stop exhaust system disconnected, and I'm about to go ahead and finish removing the last little bit of it. Then I'm about to get started on installing the Yoshi. Yeah, so you can see so far, man. I got one muffler off. I got the header pipe disconnected. Or uh, I got the other muffler disconnected too. I just got to slide it out of the slot. Kind of hard to come out. You can see the other one sitting over on the bench. Uh, but yeah, pretty easy, pretty quick uh, install. So yeah, man, so pretty much the uh, install is complete, man. I must say I'm, I'm impressed with the finish. Uh, everything was pretty much a just breeze. I went through everything, man. Everything fit well, perfect fitment. Uh, you can see uh, fine quality of product. Yoshimura got all it. They never disappoint with any of their exhaust systems or anything. Uh, I'm really excited and I like the way the, uh, the carbon fiber tips look on the back of it, man. I was a big fan of the dual on um, the CRF 450 and that's really what made me grab the bike. I always have been a fan of the uh, twin exhaust out the back. Uh, right now, I'm trying to decide should I run the quiet inserts or not. Uh, tell me what you think in the, uh, in the comments. Should I run the quiet inserts or not? It would hurt my power. Yeah. Shake down today, don't we? What? It's about to be I see you, Tay. Uh, you have. Got a little shake down today. A little shake down going Just on a little light, light. Little light, some. Little stand up, bash. You need to come. I think they're here coming over. Yeah, this right him now. right here. They're in right here. 
Come on. Dude, just bring the daylight out here. So he called you out, then? He called me out. I'm Freddy. Pulled up to it high. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, you're like? I like Day Day, bro. You did? Say like Day Day. You did? I'm up, bro. I got a dollar with Day Day. You did? Oh, you did? Say you did. Hey. Well, don't try to hurt yourself while you're right yeah, now. I'm not gonna say that Fuck y'all up. You wanna bite? You wanna bet light? Goddamn it. Oh, hell yeah, no, I ain't bitten there. I ride with him, I ain't bitten. Ride right up. What you think? What you think? Fuck him up real quick. How much y'all going for? 200. Oh, weird. Oh, weird, man. Oh no, hell no, hell yeah. Hey, you know, I'm gonna put that motherfucker on.
what up YouTube? Welcome back, man. Um, I gotta say, man, I really do appreciate all the love and the support. You know, I like to start off all my videos, but in off all of my videos, just always giving it up, man, to you guys because you all you are the ones that make these situations and this channel possible at the end of the day. Uh I gotta say, man, a big shout out to all of you guys, man, that took time out to share the videos and actually take time to actually enter in the win the, the contest to win. The uh, RC, RC car giveaway, man, and um, like I said, uh, I've been running it for a while, not just to give everybody a chance to actually get in and get a chance to actually enter and get a chance to win. I'll be posting the footage later of uh, when I actually did the giveaway, uh, posting that footage, uh, maybe in the next video, I think. But to no further ado, man, announce the winner, and like I said, shout out to all of you guys for entering. Jeremy Franklin is the winner of the RC, the Texas RC car, man. Like I said, again, I appreciate all of you guys taking the time out to share the videos, man, and actually taking time out to win. Like I said, uh, also, man, I appreciate all the continued love and support on all the videos. I know I've been kind of getting off track a little lately without posting as, as frequent as I used to, but, man, like I said before in my last video, man, uh, I just took, like, a little small break off, but I'm right back at it again, man. Um, also, man, uh, we got, a, like I said, we also got a lot of continued big things to be going on this year, man, a lot of different uh, traveling events, uh, also uh, different dates of where I'm, I'm going to uh, take the show back on the road and try to get out and meet as many of you people as I possibly can, man. Um, I always felt like it was always better to uh, actually just get out and meet the people, man. And uh, actually, when I'm out and about, man, I see a lot of you guys, man, and uh, you, sh you show, show love and you holler at me, man. And it just made me feel ever grateful, man, to you guys, because of what I choose, like I said before, it is no me, or uh, it is not no Boone's Vlog, period. So, that's another thing. Uh, also, um, project updates, we got more and more things, more and more constantly continue to continue to keeping the, the channel fresh and moving forward more so than anything, you know. Uh, I got the Banshee still coming along. I just got, uh, recently just got Freddy, so I'm working on that. I got, got a couple more updates for it. Also... Um, I'm looking to buy another bike in the near future, man. Also, looking to move towards my cars, too, man. Um, I got a lot of vehicles or whatever that I play with during my spare time, and I like have a lot of interesting things going around the way. Uh, also, man, we got Grom footage coming. Uh, I had a big date, uh, got a couple big dates with the Groms, and uh, hopefully, man, I can one day enter into that that that, that lane of supermoto Groms, you know, like the DRZ 400s and things like that. I, 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 it's basically like a street legal dirt bike, you know, uh, we catch so much flag nowadays and every time you turn on the TV, it's like they're always showing a negative aspect of people riding dirt bikes on the highway. So, you know, for me, man, I just wanted to shed a different light on it and also just enter to another lane of the, the, of the culture. You know, that's a big avenue. Uh, also with the Groms. Um, also, like I said, man, even with the cars or whatever, whatnot, but man, um, any ideas that you have that I should try or whatever, man, post them down in the comments. Also, man, we got a lot of other paintball stuff coming up too, man, but it's just really, I've been so overwhelmed just doing all the things, just like with the bikes and all of that stuff. Um, I don't want to get too caught up in the, in the drag races or rim or whatever because I know I don't want everything to go stale, so I'm going to continue to move forward. I mean, that's just a, a, little, a little teaser or whatever that I got going on right now, but uh, as far as anything else, though, man, those are the most recent updates that I can give you right now as far as Boom, blo boom Vlogs go, man. But um, like I say, I appreciate the, the continue, continued love and the support. And I just pray uh, that we can continue to grow and blossom along the way. And uh, we can make it into a, a complete movement. But without no further ado, Pete, I got to get up out of here. So this has been another edition of Boom Vlog, 2K19 and beyond. Live at 5 and over 9. To the next one. Peace.